And with that, let me recognize the gentleman from Kansas, Mr. Estes, to inquire. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Secretary, for joining us today. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to uh, submit for the record an article from AEI uh, titled Wages, Wages Rising, the U.S. Economy is Now Working Best for Lower Wage Workers, oh, I'm sorry. where it talks about wage growth has picked up sharply for the bottom half of the wage scale. Um, as you mentioned in your testimony, Mr. Secretary, uh, the economy is growing at historic levels, you know, in addition to the highest GDP in the last 14 years. We've seen wages grow. We've seen uh, unemployment rates near a 50-year low. Uh, we have more job openings than job seekers. And uh, following that progress over the last few years uh, to jumpstart the economy, you know, with uh, all of the regulatory reform and all of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act benefit, um, we can't deny that those, those changes are making benefits for millions of Americans. And the growth really helped the country, help us move on a better footing. And uh, uh, there's some of the things that we need to, to keep moving forward. You know, I represent the Wichita, the air capital of the world. Uh, obviously, trade's a big issue for us, uh, both from an aviation standpoint, but also from agriculture as well. And, and I'm hopeful that Congress moves forward quickly with the USMCA and ratifies that, uh, because it's such a boon for not just our country, but also uh, countries throughout the world uh, to see a strong economy uh, in North America. You know, as we continue that progress, uh, I want to make sure that uh, we then have the opportunity to move forward with China. Uh, and other countries and, and other regions to make sure we have good trade agreements with them as well. Another area we need to address is our deficit and our debt. And uh, like many people in this committee, I ran because I'm concerned about that. I want to make sure we leave the country better off for our children and grandchildren. And I want to thank you for addressing that uh, on the President's behalf with this uh, budget and some of the folks that, and some of the focus that you're putting on making sure that that moves forward. And I'm hopeful that the combined effort that we're making with our economic growth and, and uh, making sure that we're, we're doing appropriate government spending, uh, that we can help achieve that goal. There is one quick question I want to talk about. There's, there's really seen some, we've seen some recent proposals, uh, particularly coming from France, uh, about taxing particularly technology companies. You know, companies like Amazon and Apple and Google and Facebook, uh, who've really used new technology to provide great innovation for our country and for the world. Uh, how's the best approach that we kind of attack that misguided approach? Uh, is it a direct uh, contact with a country like France, or is it uh, more multilateral with the EU? So let me just comment. Uh, I was in uh, Europe last week. I had the opportunity to meet with the finance minister, Bruno Lamar, as well as President Macron. This was one of the specific issues I brought up. It's also an issue in the UK. Uh, I had the opportunity to uh, speak to Philip Hammond about that, the Chancellor of the Exchequer there. Um, we have uh, been discussing this at the G7, and we've made it very clear that digital taxes aimed at U.S. companies are unfair, and we won't put up with that. We are working very closely at the OECD with them and others, and, I, and I'm hopeful we can come up with a, a G7 view that can then be moved uh, through the rest of the world. So I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic uh, we need a, a, a combined solution on that. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. I yield back. 